Today, we're going to change the world. We're going to make society better. We, as a group of individuals, will fix what has been broken. We are going to improve YouTube. Yes, I know, it seems impossible. YouTube seems like a big behemoth to us, and you would be right. So, today, we will rise up and conquer YouTube! Or, we could make a top 5 list of ways to improve YouTube. Yeah, that sounds better. The first way is distinguishing YouTube channels from YouTube accounts. Granted, this wouldn't be a big change, but it could be a good thing for smaller YouTube channels. Now, I understand that all you need to do is click on their username, say in a comment section, and you'll be taken to their channel. So then, what am I saying? Well, I'm saying that it would be nice if next to their username there was a little star or something which would signify that there are videos on their channel. Maybe while YouTube is at it, they could add a feature where if you hover over a username in a comment section, a little box would pop up saying when their last video was posted. The second way would be an easier way to find YouTube messaging. I mean, for all I care, they should just get rid of it if they aren't gonna make a better way to access it in a simpler fashion. All they would need to do is add YouTube messaging to the sidebar, but no. Oh, instead, they bury it as if they're hiding a dead body. I remember when I used to get messages on YouTube. Yes, Greg? Do you get, like, YouTube messages nowadays? No, Greg, I do not. The third way to improve YouTube is to add a content filter. Personally, I like to watch Markiplier in my spare time. What spare time? <laughs> ha ha, very funny. As I was saying, I like Markiplier's personality, but I don't like that he swears, especially with my kids around. Why don't you just, like, listen with earbuds? Because we don't have ears. <laughs> oh, yeah, right. Anyways, my point is not everybody likes the fact that he swears. I understand that it's a part of his personality, but it doesn't need to be. But let's be honest here, YouTube could have added content filtering as a feature on YouTube Red. <sighs> Do you have any idea how much more money YouTube could have made if they would have added content filtering as an option with YouTube Red? Probably not much, to be honest. The point is, if they would have added it, I would have gotten YouTube Red. Probably. The fourth way would be an easier way to copy URLs. YouTube, do you realize how difficult it is to copy URLs? When I'm in the Creator Studio, and I go to Videos, and when I click this tab, and I... Wait a minute. End cards? Y YouTube. Did you... Did, did you fix it? Nope. It's just another feature. However, I have to admit, it is pretty cool. I mean, if you look at... Wait a minute. Wait. What's this? Are you telling me that I can't add annotations and add an end card? YouTube! Please, fix this! And last of all, the most important thing to improve is instant video notifications. Now listen, YouTube, if I'm subscribed to somebody, I don't want to know if a video of theirs is posted two minutes after it's posted, oh no. I wanna know the very second it's posted. YouTube, you don't, you don't understand. I wanna know what it feels like to be the first commenter on a video. I, I've tried it before on my own videos, but, it, but it's not the same. YouTube. 
You'll never understand. You don't care about your creators. You only care about yourself. Also get rid of YouTube heroes, it's terrible. Hey everyone, thank you so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed, please press the like button and subscribe for more content. And if you do subscribe, please be sure to press the bell icon so that way you'll know whenever I post a video. Also, I have some links down in the description to some other stuff that I'm involved in, so if you want to check that out, that'd be awesome. And thank you for watching, and I will see you later, so goodbye!